Hi, I'm Dawn Bailey and I work here at the Arboretum State Botanical Garden of Kentucky. And I would like to share with you a resource we have, the Arboretum Explorer a database that will help you better utilize our plant collections. This is an online database that you can use to explore our plants and learn more about the Arboretum. Our two mile path traverses through the walk across Kentucky native plant collection and every tree and shrub has been wild collected from one of the seven physiographic regions of Kentucky. This is to help us conserve the botanical and genetic diversity of the plants here in Kentucky. Right now I'm in the Penny Royal section of the walk across Kentucky and every plant and tree was wild collected from that region of Kentucky. And every one of these plants and trees is located on that Arboretum Explorer database. And you can use that database to locate a specific tree such as a memorial tree, to locate a type or species of tree, or if you were walking through the Arboretum and you saw a tree that you thought was gorgeous to see what the kind of tree that was. I'm gonna walk you through how to use this online database, Arboretum Explorer, on a computer. You can also use this program on a smartphone or tablet. You can find Arboretum Explorer on our website by clicking on the Walk Across Kentucky tab and following this link or you can go directly to the website by typing in the link shown here. When you open up Arboretum Explorer, you can see that there are five tabs. The first one, the search tab, will allow you to search for any plant by the common or scientific name. I'm gonna type in maple, and then we can see the many different type of maples we have in the collection. Clicking on Acer Rubrum, red maple, I can see that we have 16 different red maples here at the Arboretum. There's a photo and then also a map. And we can zoom in and out of this map to find exactly where those red maples are located. We can also search by family, genus, and location. So if you wanted to search plants in the Mississippi embayment, or the Penny Ryle, you can do that as well. Clicking the Map tab, we see a map of the Arboretum, and by zooming in and out, we can explore the tree and shrubs of the Walk Across Kentucky plant collection. Clicking on the Names tab, we can look through most of the plants in the collection listed in alphabetical order by their scientific names. Clicking on A, we see all of the plants with scientific names that start with A. We see Acer rubrum again, that same red maple that we explored earlier. Clicking on the Features tab, we can explore the various features of the Arboretum, such as facilities, memorial benches, memorial trees, and more. Clicking on Memorial Trees and hitting Search, I can see the 74 memorial trees that we have in their various locations. If you had a memorial tree for a loved one, you could type their name in here and find the exact location of that tree. Clicking on the Tours tab, we can select from one of three self-guided tours. We are going to select the walking tour of native trees and follow it to the first three locations. If I look on the Arboretum Explorer and I see the first tree on the walking tour of native trees is the scarlet oak. Zooming in on the map, I can see it should be right here to my right. There's also a picture to help me identify it. But to double check, to make sure I'm correct, I'm gonna look for the tag on the tree. The tag will always be at about chest height on the center trunk on the opposite side from the trail. I see it right here and it says Scarlet Oak. I have found the correct tree. While walking towards my next tree, I spotted something that I could not identify and I wanted to learn what it was. So I'm going to switch from the tours feature back to the map and identify exactly 
what this tree is. By zooming into the map, figuring out where I am, I know that this is a shagbark hickory. It's also labeled on the back side of the tree. Following along with the walking tour of native trees, I can see that the next tree, an eastern hemlock, should be up here on my right. Again, there's a photo to help me identify it, and the tree is right here. Looking at the map, I can see that the next tree should be right here on my right. And looking at the picture, this is indeed the correct tree. This is an American sycamore, and it's one of my favorites because of their beautiful bark. I can now continue to follow this tour and see 54 more Kentucky native trees. We have an excellent resource here at the Arboretum in the plant collections and the landscapes, not only because of the beauty, but because of all the information we can learn about our ecosystem. I encourage you to take one of the self-guided tours as it's a great educational opportunity.